We explore matter and changes that occur in matter through different experiments and researches. So let us take you through our findings. Here's a letter for you to ponder. What do you and a tiny speck of dust in outer space have in common? Be a thinker couldn't guess. Be with us till end of our presentation and you might find the answer. Thank you. Hello, my name is Monicute and I don't know what has happened to me. I cannot move. I'm tightly packed with my other friends. I think I'm stuck in a solid state of matter. I don't have enough room to move around. Because solid has a definite shape and volume and all the particles are tightly packed. Mm -hmm. room for me to move, hopping and jumping around. Well, I am a gas molecule. Gases don't have a definite shape or volume. You can see gases around you in the atmosphere. Did you get the answer of the written? Yes, you are right. The tiny speck of dust in outer space and you both are made up of molecules. In this unit, we explored properties of matter and we got, we came to know sometimes matter changes its state. Matter exists in nature as its basic form. But due to some factors, they change state like ice turns into water. Because of heat, there are various, various ways we can bring change in the state of matter. Some changes are permanent and some are temporary temporary let's look at some example explored by my fellow team member but some changes are permanent you must have heard of forest fires the word changes into smoke and ash as heat the cam which makes the chemical change in it the chemical change can't be reversed this what piece can't be back to normal. Look at this glass. It is a solid form. As we can see, it has its own shape and size. It was broken and turned into pieces, meaning no new. Substance was formed that the size changes, but the state remains the same. This is also an example for physical change, where the state remains the same. This tiny piece is also glass. Food that we eat is also in solid state. When we blend mangoes to make a glass of smoothie, this is a physical change as no new substance is formed. Mango smoothie is now a form of liquid that has been made through a solid. In some cases, chemical changes play take, uh, take place naturally or rotten banana or stale yogurt are the examples of it. We can we can tell the change by uh, its color or order and texture. This cannot be reversed. Learning about these changes help humans make use of them effectively. All natural processes and phenomena are useful. Let's look at some examples. I love to eat fresh bread. Its aroma and rice me bigger take advantage uh, of the chemicals by adding yeast in the bread. Yeast make the bread soft, soft, soft and and rice. Rice yeast also produce bu gas bubbles by gas which can also seen in a slice of a bread. I hope my clothes dry up fast and I have to wear this clothes on my on the birthday party. At times, we wonder if the drying of wet clothes is a physical change or a chemical one. Actually, 
Water from the clothes evaporates in the presence of sunlight and gets converted into vapor state causing brand of clothes. to be mindful of the changes in matter around us. Some continuous changes are damaging for us, like melting of glaciers in the Arctic. We connected our findings with Global Goal 13 Climate Change. Through our research, we found out that the garbage we throw and all other air pollutants in the air is rising Earth's temperature, which is causing climate change. I have kept a separate clay pot to decompose the, the keychain waste. Once it is decomposed, I will pour it in my plant. It will work as an organic food which helps them to grow. So friends, in PYP, learning help us take action and we must all make sure that when we learn something we use it to make this world a better place thank you we must take action to reduce reuse and recycle our waste thank you